guys. A uh, big part of what I've been trying to do with my channel is kind of chronicling as I learn uh, different aspects of fishing, uh, different techniques, different bodies of water, and just improve as a whole. So, had a few kind of failed trips that I did film in the last few weeks, and uh, figured I'd just kind of throw them together in a quick video, just to again continue to document uh, my changes, what I've learned, you know, so I can go back and look at it later, and so you guys can see me feel my way through it. So, here's a couple clips from a local river that I fished a couple times. Not much luck, just a couple little fish each day, but I'm learning where to throw, what to throw there, and uh, so I know more going forward. Thanks. Hey guys, gonna do a quick one. Got like an hour and a half, maybe two hours until dark. Uh, back out at the same spot I was the other day. I don't know if I'll even get a video out of this, but maybe I'll get a couple catches in before I gotta go home. We'll find out, let's go. All right guys, not a ton of time here tonight and it's quickly getting stormy, so we'll see. I did notice that this was the last place I fished and uh, it's hard to tell, but my line's kinda got this orange crust to it, which, uh, doesn't say a lot about the quality of the water here, but I'm gonna try a few things. Definitely going to flip this crawl a little bit, just like last time, this is what I had success on. Um, got a little chatterbait tied on, I'll throw for a few minutes, and then I uh, think I'm definitely gonna try the popper tonight, why not? It's about 7.23. Figure I have till about 8.30, 8.45, and uh, maybe I'll get a couple and be able to throw up a quick video. We will see. Well, I'm trying to not be stubborn and stick to a lure and just keep casting it, so haven't seen anything on this. I got a couple nibbles on the craw, so might stick with it ultimately, um, but I'm going to throw on a popper here. Got one! Got one! Nice. Stay down, bud. Stay down. Stop jumping. Good lord. All right, I'm just going to pull you out of here. Nice. Heck to the yeah. And I have my first ever popper fish. Holy cow. Well, that was cool. A little uh, Bass Pro Shops, couple dollar popper. These hooks are so small I can't even get a grip on them. There we go. I got my first ever popper fish. He hit it right where he should have. Right over top of that log there. Um, and he ate the crap out of it. That's kind of cool. Yeah, that's really fun. That's awesome. Let's squat down. See what you, can, you guys can actually see here. And he took off. Cool. That's so cool. That is exactly why I came out here tonight. Hoping to catch one on this little guy. I'm gonna try again. Let's see if I can get a couple more, man. I got a little bit of little bit of daylight left. I'll got a couple fish. I'll probably be able to put a fairly short little video together, and that's all I really wanted. All right, gonna get myself five casts with this little Yozuri jerk bait. We'll see if I can even toss it with this setup. Hmm, eh, that's not too bad. <laughs> I'm counting that one. First jerkbait fish of the year. He came up and cranked it while it sat there. That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> they just can't help themselves, right? Hey guys, uh, don't know if I'm even going to make a full video out of this. It's only got a couple little fish. Did get my first topwater popper fish and my first jerkbait fish. Uh, nothing big though. I'll probably combine this into another video. So if this is a single video that I decided to make, thanks for watching. If not, stay tuned for part two. Just climbing on down here. Another night on the river. Don't have a ton of time as you can probably see the sun's already setting. Some people out here so 
Gonna throw some top water in a bag. Gonna start with a sloot because it's already tied on. We'll see what we can get. Got him. <laughs> he hit it as I was swimming it back in. Easy, bud. Bye, bud. See ya. Sorry. Didn't mean to do that, but that was funny. I was kind of wondering if I'd get cracked as I was swimming this back in, and he just walloped it. <laughs> Did not mean to quick release and drop him. I need to stop grabbing my lure. I keep doing that. As I bring these fish in, I grab the lure to get a hold of them. I need to get a hold of them first then grab the lure because I keep popping them off like that. Oops, that was awful. That's a bass. Not much of one though. That's even smaller than the last guy. Dude. Where are your big brothers? Look at him, I can barely get a thumb in his mouth. This might be the smallest bass I've ever caught <laughs> on a full four inch Senko. Later, bud. Well, there's a couple in a row at least. That's the sun setting here. I'm half tempted to put that popper back on, but if they're gonna keep hitting old Stenko, I'm gonna keep throwing it. All right, guys, running out of daylight real fast here. Just gonna say screw it and do mostly what I came here for, which is throw this this popper. Try not to fall down. I don't know how the low light's handling this, but I don't have a ton of confidence in this bait still. Um, nothing else is working. Got two little fish on a Senko. One of them was just swimming it back in really fast and he cranked it. The other dropped right by the bushes and he hit it like you normally get a Senko fish. All right, well, I'm gonna give myself a handful of casts with this here spinner bait right, right as it's getting dark here. And I'm gonna get the hell out of here and probably immediately throw this footage out. All right guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for joining me as I figure all this out and, and learn my way through catching these fish, catching through different techniques and everything. Uh, in this video, I think I caught uh, two brand new techniques uh, in one day and then a couple more of generic Senko fish when nothing else was working, but uh, that's kind of my thought process usually. This river has been really tough, so I'm hoping to figure it out, hoping to get out my boat on it and see what it can really do. But uh, in the meantime, thanks guys, I'll see you next time. Yeah.